Hello there SpyBot users and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team SpyBot and I'm here today to bring you another video in our web series of tutorials and instructional videos. Today's video will be Disabling the Server Message Block Version 1 Protocol on Windows 10 using PowerShell. Due to security concerns and in light of the recent spread of ransomware infections such as WannaCry, it is recommended to disable the Server Message Block Version 1 Protocol or SMB. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So welcome to today's video on Disabling the Server Message Block Version 1 Protocol on Windows 10 using PowerShell. These steps also apply to Windows 8.1, so if you are a user of Windows 8.1, please follow the tutorial instructions to disable SMB version 1. SMB or Server Message Block version 1 is a legacy network file sharing protocol used for sharing files and other devices between computers. SMB version 1 is outdated, insecure, and can leave your system vulnerable to man-in-the-middle attacks as malware and ransomware can exploit the weaknesses in this protocol to gain access to and take control of your system. This protocol has been replaced by more modern and secure versions, so it is highly recommended to disable SMB version 1 as it could leave you susceptible to attacks. If you would like to read more info about the server message block version 1 protocol and why it should be disabled, as well as WannaCry's ability to exploit weaknesses in SMB version 1, you can read the articles linked in the description below. To begin today's video, I would like to direct you to the article which I have now loaded in my browser, which will be our guide to help us in today's video. So please open up this article by clicking on the description below or copy the URL shown in the address bar of my browser. This article goes through all of the reasons why SMB is considered insecure and outdated and why it should be disabled, as well as the key advantages of later versions of SMB. Please read this article for more information about the server message block protocol and you can check out similar articles in the description below. So once you have read through the article and understand the importance of disabling SMB version 1, Scroll down to the section of the article where it says SMB removal isn't hard, then scroll down to where it says on client, the PowerShell approach, and in brackets it lists the command that we need to use to disable SMB version 1 using PowerShell. PowerShell is a more advanced version of the Windows command prompt. Please copy the command which is listed in brackets by highlighting the text, then press copy. Next we need to open PowerShell. To do this, click on the Windows search in the taskbar, then type PowerShell. Right click on Windows PowerShell in the results list, then choose Run as Administrator to run PowerShell with administrator privileges. Select Yes when prompted by the user account control to allow PowerShell to run, then wait for PowerShell to load. Before entering the command, you must check that you have Quick Edit and Insert Mode enabled in PowerShell. To do this, right click on the top of the PowerShell window, then click Properties. Under Edit Options, please tick the checkbox for Quick Edit Mode and Insert Mode if it is not already ticked. This allows us to easily copy and paste commands into PowerShell. Click OK, then return to the PowerShell prompt. Next, simply right click on the mouse and the command that we previously copied should appear in PowerShell. Then press Enter to run the command. The command should be complete within a few seconds. You will then be prompted by PowerShell to restart your PC to allow the changes to take effect. Type Y or Yes, then press Enter to restart your PC. You should see the Configuring Windows update screen before and after your PC reboots. Once your PC is reloaded and you have logged back into Windows, if you wish, you can check that the changes were applied correctly by going to the Turn Windows Features On or Off window in Programs and Features to confirm that SMB has been disabled. To do this, press the Windows key together with the OR key to bring up the Run dialog. Then type in appwiz.cpl to bring up the Programs and Features window. Then click on Turn Windows Features On or Off. This window may take a few seconds to load. Once this window is loaded, scroll down until you see SMB1 slash CIFS file sharing support. The tick box should be blank for this entry if SMB was successfully disabled. Once you have confirmed that SMB has been disabled, you can close the Windows Features window and the control panel to conclude today's video tutorial. So that's it for today's video on 
Disabling server message block version 1 protocol on Windows 10 using PowerShell. I'd like to thank you all for watching and hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, or you can leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can get in touch by sending an email to teamspybot at spybot.info, or by using the request support page on the support center on our website. I've been Rob from Team Spybot, thanks again for watching, stay safe, keep on searching, keep on destroying. See you guys soon.